cheated. He put mine up first. <laughs> I like it. All right. 20, 20 minutes before 12 o'clock. We're going to have fun with Joe. It's part two of the game we started yesterday. Part two? Just, I'm so excited. Part two. Just to refresh your memories. Yesterday, we started the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. Robin, you missed my, my little funny thing. Refresh your memories. Re- we have memories. Refresh oh, your memories. Oh, memories. I'm sorry. I was busy looking you at You need the to people. refresh your memories. Anyway, memories. Okay. What's that? When you go get a mammogram? What the heck is memories? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lactating. Uh, uh, okay. So so yesterday we had the 12 pipers, I mean the 12 drivers drumming. Yep. And yesterday we started the 11 pipers piping, but we only did six of them. Mm-hmm. Aren't they lucky? Uh, so we'll continue with the game of the 12 Days of Christmas today. And, uh, All right. That, you know, you know yeah, okay, well, I'm going to give away a $20 gift certificate to Bob Wines Community Gardens. You know the gardening experts since 1952. They're right here in Ocala. If you have gardening questions, ask them. They'll have the answers for you. And remember, if you're a veteran, you get 10% off. And just for that, I'm going to give away two of them. That's $40 gift certificates. Nice. Two twenties equals a 40. Pretty good, huh, Larry? Yeah. That's Wonderful. Really good. Oh, so. <laughs> and for the Big Dan Company and a cafe. I guess it's called the cafe because they had the above the E. Uh, I know. We got a ten dollar <laughs> worth ten dollars worth of deli food, a sandwich, soup, salad, drink, or cookies. That's the Honey Baked Ham Company right here in Ocala. That's behind Best Buy next to Regal Cinema. So that's a grand total of fifty dollars. There you go, Pilgrim. <laughs> Pilgrim. All right. So if you or anyone in your household has won fun with Joe in the past thirty days, you are ineligible to play for this fifty dollar prize pack, and you must pick up your prize within. Seven days. And don't forget, Larry, now, they can come in and put their name in the pot if they want to for those two 58-inch yeah. TVs that we're going to be giving away Monday. Boy, the time has flown by. Unbelievable. And part, we are WSA is partnering with Sears here at the Paddock Mall. So if you want to put your name and do it that way, or go to Facebook at WOCA Facebook and see with the big, big TV, like it, and your name will go in to win one of these TVs that are behind me on Monday. You could win. Just put your name in. That's right. Your turn, Larry. It is time to get our players. We need somebody to bet on Robin, somebody to bet on Joe. The winner takes the entire prize. The loser takes nothing at all. Yay! Except an opportunity to do it again to ma- on Monday. <laughs> Tomorrow, Mon. Tomorrow, Mon. Huh? So Tomorrow thank you, Coles, right now. 622-9622 is the phone number. 622-WOCA. We'll take your break right now and take your calls during the break and we'll be right back. Brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a couple of showers around through the morning and early afternoon hours. Breezy and turning cooler with temperatures in the upper 60s to upper 70s around the area. Clearing tonight and turning colder. Lows ranging from the upper 30s and low 40s well inland to the mid 50s along the coast. For tomorrow, mostly sunny and breezy with highs ranging from the mid 60s to the lower 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Whether you're building it up or knocking it down, get it done, rent it now. Sunbelt Rentals is here to make your job a little easier. Our knowledgeable staff will help you find the right equipment for any job, big or small. Did you know that Sunbelt Rentals carries heaters, air conditioners, generators, lighting, traffic control, and so much more? So whether you're building it up or knocking it down, we've got the equipment you need. Get it done, rent it now. And right now, for a limited time, you can have it for less. Just by mentioning this ad, if you rent it Friday afternoon, you can keep it the whole weekend and only pay for one day. But this is a limited time offer, so stop into Sunbelt Rentals today, Northwest 27th, just a quarter mile east of I-75. For more information, just give us a call, 352-369-9101. 352-369-9101. Sunbelt Rentals. Get it done, rent it now. 352-369-9101. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. So how can watching a scary film make you happier? When the scary, heart-pounding moments end, 
we get a surge of feel-good chemicals which can leave us feeling happy long after the movie is over. The study finds we can save 40 cents per gallon on average buying milk at the drugstore. The first step in breaking a hair-pulling habit is to simply be aware of it because most nervous habits are done unconsciously. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. All of right. you hey, you know what, Larry? What's that, Joe? Why don't we have our listeners call 732-8000 right now. Uh, Patsy's ready if they want to put their name in for the two 58-inch TVs that we partnered with Sears to get here. And their name go in for Monday. How's that sound? That sounds like a really All right, 732-8000 is the number to call right now. Patsy's there, pen poised in the air, ready to take your <laughs> name and phone number. And if, and if she's got a call, then she can't take a second call, so you got to just let it roll to just the answer Just let it machine. roll. Just wait and roll to the answer Or machine. call until you get Patsy. That's, a, that's yeah. Hey, you know, that's a good idea. <laughs> but these TVs are nice TVs. Big, beautiful RCA you know, LED, high-definition TVs, right? Yeah, and they're, in, and they're in full color, by the way. A full color, living color. <laughs> I love that fact. They're <laughs> not black and white anymore. I don't Good think morning. you can buy a black and white TV. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, ready for the game? Okay. Oh, I guess we, we are. Let me see. Ham on Rye. Rick is betting on you, Joe, and Lisa is betting on Robin. Yep. Okay. And we're up to the 11 Pipers piping. We did six of them yesterday. Here's the seventh Piper piping. And they're legal okay. color. The word question. Piper. Could yeah. be used to describe one who plays which Scottish instrument? The bagpipe. Oh, bagpipe is right. Ooh, right. Lisa's on the board with one. Yay. The eighth piper piping question. Eighth. Which character is often seen as a symbol of death based on a story in which he leads Satan. children out of Hamelin who are never seen again? Not Satan? No. Oh, the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper is right. Really? I didn't know that about I him. I thought he was a, the guy from Ireland with the snakes. I thought he was a good guy, the Pied Piper. Well, he was window. hired to get rid of the rats, and then he took the children. Oh, I didn't ever know. See, I don't know these stories. Right. I don't like that story. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. The Ninth Piper Piping. Track, Bristol, Willow, Piper, and Trigg are the children of which U.S. politician? Bush. Oh, Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin is right. I don't know that one. What's it got to do with a Piper? Piper is one of her children's names. Piper. (laughs) The next. That was a stretch. Piper. Yes. uh, Is the 10th one. There were only 11 of them. Which actress starred in the film Coyote Ugly? Oh, that Diana was... Pfeiffer. That Diana Pfeiffer. Diana Pfeiffer. Right, Blonde-haired lady. Um, Pfeiffer. It's famous as Pfeiffer, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. Was it, was it the young one or the old one? I don't know. It's I don't Piper? Know who, it's Piper something, yes. Piper Laurie? Her, no, her last name starts with a P. Was a P. Every morning, like you say, Larry. <laughs> Piper... Piper Phillips. something. Piper... Piper Pedro? Ah, no, no, he's calling in. It sounds like you're just guessing. It's Piper Parabo. It sounds like okay. we just call, we're just <laughs> guessing. I was <laughs> guessing. Therefore, you know we were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The next Piper is the 11th one and the final one in the Piper category. Which actress played Doctor Who's companion, Rose don't Tyler? Don't know. Call in. Call in. We it's call something in. Piper. We know Piper's in there. Jean Piper? It's a common first name that starts with B. B. Betty. No. Barbara. No. Beverly. No. It's a common name. So oh. Beverly, Barbara, Bush. Ah. <laughs> uh, starts with a B. B. Starts with a B. It's all, it's, you might think of it as a boy's name. Boy's Bobby? Name. No. Oh, that was good. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a boy. Boys. Bob. No. Betty. Rihanna. Come on, do you know? Billy. Billy. Oh. oh good Billy job. Piper. Who's the point for? For Joe. Thank you. I got Bring one. Joe on one. the board. One. One. Hello. Is number. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now B, B, Billy's B I Billy. E. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Billy. All right. The next category is the Lords of Leaping. We have ten Lords of Leaping. Oy. Okay. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> 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 I can just see him in class. <laughs> Teacher gets it. Lord Farquaad, what? <laughs> <laughs> Lord Farquaad is an antagonist in which animated film series? I don't know. Um, Shrek? Shrek is right. Who wrote The Lord of the Flies? Garbage Man. <laughs> no. 
Who? Huh? J.R.R. Tolkien. No, no, no. Oh, this is, this the Lord of the Flies. The second Lord's a leaping question, yes. Who I wrote the Lord of the Lord Flies? Lord of the Flies. Anybody it's, calling in Larry? Help no, his know. initials are W.G. What? W.G.? Yes. W.G. Yes. Warren well, Gorilla. First name is a common first name for a man. William. Yes. His last name is a, a color. I said garbage, didn't I? Green. No. Oh. Come on, do you know? William Golding. William Golding is right, oh, yes. Oh, well, I like yeah. that. And the point? Good job. Good job. Thank you. Help. I need somebody help. <laughs> Most anybody help. Right, the next question is the yeah. third in the Lords of Leaping category. Oh, boy. Young artist Lord, Lord became the first New Zealand solo artist to have a number one song in the United States with which single? Oh, of course you gotta know who Lord gee, is. Then that you gotta was know the Great most. Gatsby one. Uh, what? Oh, what was the name of that song? That's the idea, Robin. We're yeah, I know. <laughs> call in Lisa. Call in Rick. I know. I didn't know this. Or anybody else. I know the song, but I thought this was done by uh, Katy Perry. I guess I was wrong. Oh. There you go. Well, unless I'm thinking of a different song. It's not Roar. Katy Perry no, was not Roar. Roar. Oh, yeah, Roar. Katy Perry um, was Roar. Yeah, even, oh, I even this know that was, one. Uh, oh, my God. It's playing in my head. Does what is hurt? the name of Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Call in Rick. Call in Lisa. <laughs> that was weird sounding. But, <laughs> yes, it was. I make all weird sounds here. Yeah. I think your voice and mixed with Robin's was like, what the heck happened? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least that's that's me, not natural coming out. I yes. can't recall the. I can't recall Anybody the calling in Larry? No, it's yeah. called Royals. 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 That's it. And, and that's I know pains like royal. that, you know. That's right. That's oh, wow, it. I always thought that was Katy Perry. Okay. I don't know. I the know pains like that. I'll keep the next going. Lord to Leaping <laughs> is royal the fourth pains. one. Who wrote the poems Don Juan and Child Harold's Pilgrimage? Or Child Harold's? I don't know what that... C-H-I-L-D. Lord Charles. I don't know. Lord something starts with a B. Lord Baron. Close. Lord Baron is close? Lord yeah. Barry. Change the A in Baron oh, to oh. another letter. Baron. No. <laughs> is it a color? No, change the A, the a in, Baron in Baron to another letter. Lord. I don't know. Come on, do you know? Lord Byron. Yes, Lord, Lord Byron. Byron. Oh, there you go. And the point? Good job. Good thank job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm up to three. Right, Good the job. fifth Lord's a Leaping question. What is the surname of Frodo and Bilbo <laughs> in the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Oh, gee. What, their, what, their first names? Frodo and Bilbo. No, the, the surname, their the last name. name. Their last name. I didn't know they Williams. had a last name. No. Well, give Frodo. us a letter. Starts with a B. Frodo boys. Boys. Well, that's the way the morning starts too. Bowel moment. <laughs> starts, with a, starts with a B. Come Frodo. on, do you know? Brown. Uh, that would be Baggins. Baggins is Baggins. right. Baggins. Yes. Baggins. Yes. What's at the grocery store? And the point? Uh, the point would be for Robin. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness! She gives it to Robin. Oh, five for Lisa, me. three for Rick and Joe. All Ooh. right. The sixth question in the Lord's of Leaping category: Which U.S. department store chain is colloquially colloquially known as L and T? Colloquially. Oh, L and Oh, L and T. And the, oh yeah, Lord and Taylor. Lord and Taylor is oh, right. Good job. Wow. That, yep. one, that one pulled out of my ear. Do that. The number sure seven did. question in the Lord's Leaping category. Which text most commonly re- begins with the line, LOL. Quote, Our Father who art in heaven. <laughs> I'll be thy name. The Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Lord. Prayer is right. There you go. Good job. Number eight in the Lord's Leaping category. Ha- along with the House of Lords, what other house makes up British Parliament? International House of Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> House of Lords. The House of Commons. House of Commons is right. I had no idea. Good job. I had no idea. House of Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> international. Like that. International. Exactly. That's, that's my kind they of government. Be over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pass the syrup. Yes, we passed the syrup. <laughs> that's right. Uh, in the ninth Lords of Leaping question, which children's game involves jumping over someone else's hunched over back? La- uh, leapfrog. Leapfrog is right. Good job. <laughs> what does that have God, to do with Lords? Oh, leaping. Lords of Leaping. Lords leaping. 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 Yeah. leaping. Leapfrog. Okay. Right. That's a strange. Yeah, okay. Frog. All right. yes. uh, he, hey, little girl out there. In the 10th and last Lords of Leaping question, what are 2000, 2004, 2008, and 2012 all? Oh, Year, leap years. years, yes. Oh, oh Rob got it. it. I was waiting yeah. to the right. little girl. We, we're done me. with the Lords of Leaping. Now we get to the ladies dancing. Ready? We that got, was we got ladies that was dancing. Ten, I don't see any ten. ladies dancing out there. That was ten okay. lords ten of leaping. Ten lords of leaping. Okay, now we got nine ladies dancing. Yes, nine ladies right. dancing. Which Elton <coughs> John hit opens with the line "Blue Jean Baby, L.A. Lady, Seamstress for the Band"? 
That's um, Billy Jean. No. no. Uh, Tiny dancer. Tiny dancer. It's ladies dancing. Don't forget the category. Oh, that's right. All right. <laughs> ladies. In the second ladies dancing question, Jennifer Grey plays Baby, the lady dancing in which film? Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing Good is right. Good job. Dirty Dancing. The next dancing ladies question is Cheryl Burke, Julianne Hough, and Karina Smirnoff are all dancing ladies on which television show? What? Glee. No. Sure. Oh, sure. Dancing with the Stars? Dancing with the Stars is oh, right. Oh, okay. Yes. The fourth ladies vodka, dancing. I vodka because he said Smirnoff. <laughs> the fourth ladies dancing question. Which famous Russian ballerina is known for her performance as the Dying Swan and became the first ballerina to tour around the world? Her initials are AP. AP. Oh, gee. Gosh. Pavarinsky. AP. I don't have any idea. It's possible her dogs will drool if you ring a bell. Oh, it's, um, uh. Really? Oh, what's that name? Uh, the dog guy, the, with the bell. There goes the hand. Uh, She's really working on it. Pavlov. Pavlov? Okay. You is sort the of got, last name. You sort of have the last name. Okay. Pavlovsky. Oh, Come, sort of. Not really. Come on, do you know? Anna Pavlov. Yes, Anna Pavlova. Pavlova. All right, and the point? Oh, oh man. A Pavlova. Wow. All right, which female singer is also known for her dance moves in which her hips don't lie? Her hips don't lie. Her hips Lady don't Gaga. Lie. <laughs> oh, that's a good guess. Yeah, that is um, a good Beyonce. One. No. Uh, it's, in, it's contemporary. contemporary. Uh, oh, uh, well, that would be Britney Spears then. Her hips don't oh, lie. Good huh? job. Starts with an S H. Yes. H. Well, I can't say it on the air. <laughs> S-H. Good morning, do you know? Shakira. Shakira. Oh, Shakira. And the point? Joe. Thank you so much. All right. The next, uh, the, the uh, mm. sixth ladies dancing question. Which ABBA song? ABBA song? What's, hit, what's hit, an ABBA song? No. <laughs> oh, uh, hit number one on the U.S. Billboard oh, charts. it's... Uh, what? Which, um, Ab- <laughs> which Abba song had hit number one on the right. billboard chart? Uh, right, right, right. Abba saw a group? Oh, Abba. Abba. Oh, Abba's. Oh. Abba. Which I one did want Abba saw. From Abba. <laughs> uh, that's the. Uh, yeah, oh. Oh, 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 oh yes. We're both the, there. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Oh, uh, gosh. What, uh, call in. Can I do that? Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen. That's it. Dancing Queen. And the point? Joe. Who is a, Joe, a Joe fan. Today. Twelve for Joe and Rick. All right, the seven seventh for me and Lisa. Ladies dancing question: Which fictional mouse, Mickey Mouse, featured in both children's books and a TV series, was created by Catherine Mighty Mouse Hullabird? Mighty Mouse? No. And not Mickey Mouse. Mouse. No. Oh, it's the guy in the suit. The guy in the suit. <laughs> Remember the it's, category, it's ladies dancing. The suit. Remember the ladies category, ladies dancing. The and we're looking for suit. a mouse that dances. Uh, yes, I don't, uh, I don't know that that mouse in the suit is the answer. Oh, but okay. Um, Catherine Hullabird created this fictional dancing, mouse. The mouse. Fictional uh, mouse. Sherlock yeah. Mouse. Her initials are A B. A B. Right. Anita Bird. Uh, <laughs> what, we're looking for her name. Yeah. The dancing mouse. The name of the mouse. Oh. A B. The lady's name is Catherine Hullabird. Albert Brew. <laughs> yeah, oh, what is the dancing mouse? Though? What is it? Her first name is Angelina. Angelina, Angelina Brown. And her last name is a dancer. Angelina Ballet. 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 Oh, and you, I think you said ballet? it. Ballet? No. Okay, forget it then. A dancer. Angelina Boyd. Uh, Angelina Ballerina. Ballerina. Oh. All right, who wins? Woo, Rick and Joe win. Yay, come pick up your prize, Rick. Guys, have a great weekend. Thank you for listening. Pass the word. And remember, Monday's the deadline, so get as many as you can in. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Congress has passed a $1.1 trillion spending plan. Still, it wasn't perfect to Democrats and Republicans alike. House Democratic Leader Nancy Pelosi urged...